And in Canada, Unifor and Ford have reached a tentative deal. But right now, we're working to learn the specifics. We have Team 7 coverage for you tonight, but we're going to begin with 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham with how union members are reacting to Unifor's new contract. Workers here at the Ford Michigan Assembly Plant in Wayne are striking another day after waking up to the news that Canada's auto worker union struck a tentative deal with Ford. Well, I will hope that they didn't get lowballed because that don't look good for us. Ford employees respond to the tentative deal between Ford and Unifor, the Canadian Auto Workers Union. The agreement came late Tuesday night and now awaits the ratification process. No details have been released. But Unifor had demanded better wages, pensions, and assistance with the transition to electric vehicles. Yeah, hopefully it's a good deal and hopefully that, that means something good for us. Seven Action News also spoke with Chris Douglas, a business professor at the University of Michigan Flint. It's surprising that the Canadian Union was able to reach an agreement with Ford, but for whatever reason the UAW was not able to reach an agreement with that same company as well as with General Motors and Chrysler. So to me, what that means to me is perhaps the three companies aren't being entirely unreasonable in the bargaining process. He says Canada having universal health care likely does not factor into Unifor and Ford reaching a deal quickly. But unless General Motors, Ford and Chrysler are asking its membership to start paying out of pocket for health care, which I don't think is the case, um, that shouldn't be an issue with bargaining between the three companies of the UAW and the U.S. If they can reach an agreement, then we shouldn't be too far off. I hope they came with a good deal and they not to accept anything so they won't go on strike. Next. The Canadian Union will work to make deals with GM and Stellantis. Professor Douglas says if the Canadian deal with Ford is ratified and production continues at Ford's Canadian plants, that will help the company remain profitable, making it easier for Ford to ride out the UAW strike, perhaps putting more pressure on the UAW to cave in. In Wayne, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.